We appreciate you joining us here as always. And uh, right now we have an update uh, to give you a little preview of uh, the big trial that is going to be starting on Monday with the jury de selection. Disgraced former attorney Alex Murdo uh, uh, faces trial on charges of murdering his wife and son, part of a sprawling case uh, that has exposed a seamy underside to political power and influence in South Carolina's lowlands. It is a bizarre and southern gothic tale of brutal murders, still unsolved deaths, an apparently faked assassination attempt, a family fortune, and layers of small-town corruption going back generations. Not surprisingly, it has gripped America and attracted the interest of numerous documentary makers. And, of course, uh, this will all be beginning on Monday. So we just wanted to give you a little preview here with some new details coming out of a mysterious Snapchat video critical to the case. That's coming from prosecutors. This is first on Fox. Alex Murdoch's youngest son, Paul, sent his friends a Snapchat video shortly before his murder, and it's a key piece of evidence in the state's case against him. South Carolina prosecutors revealed uh, on Wednesday in a new court filing. The disbarred attorney, 54, who is slated to go to a trial on Monday for the double murder of Paul and Murdoch's wife, Maggie, in June of 2021. Among other things critical to the case is a video sent out to several friends at approximately 7.56 p.m. on the night of the murders, wrote Senior Assistant Deputy Attorney General Creighton Waters in a petition to secure the attendance of a Snapchat witness. The contents of the video is important to, to proving the state's case in chief. It's the first time the video has been mentioned publicly by prosecutors who have been tight-lipped about the evidence that they have against the uh, once powerful illegal dynasty. In the filing, the prosecutor asked Judge Clifton Newman to sign an order requiring a Snapchat representative to testify at the county trial. The witness, Snapchat Inc. custodian of records of Santa Monica, California, is a material witness because in a search warrant return, Snapchat pr provided re records belonging to one of the victims in the case, Waters wrote in the peti petition. Because this video was provided by Snapchat, a Snapchat custodian is required to testify in person that the video is a true and accu accurate record kept in the normal course of business activity. The judge signed the order requiring the Snapchat representative's attendance from the start of the trial until the witness testifies or the case is disposed of. The documents do not indicate what is shown on the Snapchat video. Murda is accused of gunning down his troubled son and his wife on June 7, 2021, near the dog kennels on their sprawling 1,700-acre hunting estate known as Moselle in South Carolina. Prosecutors say the disgraced attorney used a shotgun to blow off his son's head, which was severed from his body, according to court papers. Maggie was shot with a semi-automatic rifle five times, including in the back of the head, and died about 30 yards from her son, court papers allege. Prose prosecutors have su suggested that the family patriarch murdered Paul and Maggie over mounting debts and feared that his uh, decades-long schemes to embezzle money from his clients would be exposed. Murdoch alleges that he found his wife and son's lifeless body at 10.06 p.m. when he placed a histor hysterical 911 call to police. More than an hour earlier, a video recorded at 8.44 p.m. shows Paul with his father and his mother prosecutors previously disclosed. The footage was retrieved from his slain son's phone. The prosecutors said the victims were killed between 8.44 and 10.06 p.m. while the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division previously provided a narrower window of 9 p.m. to 9.30. A spokesperson for the South Carolina Attorney General's office declined to comment on the Snapchat video. We can't comment on anything other than what we saw in court or in court filings. So we will continue to follow this here for you. Like I said, Monday is going to be the start of jury selection. It is expected to last two days in the trial then expect it to start right after that. You're watching live now from Fox, everyone. Let's take another quick two-minute break.